What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fire Pro Wrestling World Battle for Supremacy. This is year 2 week 20. The overall scores at this moment in time, myself and my fighters in the blue corner with 67 and Mr. Maverick and his fighters in the red corner with 64 still neck and neck. Mr. Maverick 3 points behind me. And uh, as I said uh, towards the end of last episode, um, I like there was a update recently for Fire Pro, and I think it changed like the flow of the matches, and I really enjoy that. But here we go, kicking off year two, week twenty in the blue corner, will be the former television champion, Wah! Waluigi. And in the red corner, starting to become a uh, veteran of Battle for Supremacy, Darth Vader. Above these two men, top tier on both teams. And here we go, kicking off year two, week 20, Waluigi one-on-one -on -one with Darth Vader. Alfred! Fight. Thank you, Alfred. Looking spiffy one year, 20 weeks in a row. And here we go, former television champion, fresh back in his first match since his injury. Waluigi, one on one with Darth Vader, who has been fairly dominant, has had a couple of title shots, but has not been able to win the big one thus far. Botch! Starting out great with a botch. Oh my god, did you hear the smack from that cross body? And now the double arm lock suplex. Waluigi, Falcon Arrow. Lock up, hip toss by Vader off the ropes, but Waluigi making it back to his feet. Elbow to the spine, toe tap with the curled boots. Waluigi fit him perfectly with Iron Sheik. And again, Falcon Arrow, and the face wash. Making full use of those curled toed boots. Elbow dropping Vader. They're starting off pretty slow pace to begin. Off the ropes and the leaping clothesline taking Waluigi down. And Vader with a snap suplex. Off the ropes, oh, just absorbing the big boot from Waluigi. Knee to the gut. And here we go with the back and forth. And both fighters collapse to the mat. Face wash again. I'm not sure how much damage that does considering Vader's got a, uh, I'm assuming metal mask on and they're triple kicks to the face. I would assume it's metal. Lifting Waluigi to his feet. Shot to the dick. Hooray. There wasn't a shot to the dick last episode. Wow. I just realized that. DDT putting Vader face or mask first into the mat. And there's the double underhook suplex yet again. 
lock up, and Waluigi with the kicks to the face of his own. Five minutes have passed. And things should start breaking down any second. Vader off the ropes. Oh, Waluigi backing away from the cross body. And the kicks to the face yet again. Elbow dropping Vader to the mat. Shot to the dick! Hooray! Vader dragging Waluigi to the center of the ring and putting him down. Double knees to the spine. And once again, just straight up kicks to the face. Vader from behind. Irish whip. Oh, going for the uppercut. Snap suplex. This one's been very back and forth thus far. And Waluigi loving those kicks, man. Beautiful drop kick to the back of the skull. I feel like the curled toad. Oh no! Order 66 locked in! But Waluigi does not give up. Uh, I feel like the curled toad boots does extra damage with those kicks, and there's a big boot. Uppercut to Vader. Oh, went for the force. Waluigi able to move out of the way. Oh, and the poke to the eyes. And Vader choking the life out of Waluigi. And Waluigi Shiranui into the face wash. Starting to bring out the big moves. And Vader. Jesus. Spinning Emerald Fusion. Waluigi is woozy. And super kick those long legs. And Waluigi Tornillo. One. Two. Oh. Vader barely kicking out of that one. Up onto the shoulders and again, Emerald Fusion. Kick straight down the spine. Oh, huge chop. And Vader from behind, but the shot to the dick and Waluigi with the taunt. Hooray. Uh-oh. What is that? One, two. Oh. That was a bridging backslide. Very unique. There's another vicious drop kick. Ten minutes have passed. Vader to his feet. Lock up. And Vader, Jesus! Northern Light. Or no, that was an Emerald Fusion. A normal Emerald Fusion. And Waluigi off the rope. A Mortal Kombat esque uppercut. This drop to the spine. Uh oh, nope. Missing the force. Waluigi Shiranui. Does not go for the cover, and I think that might have been a mistake. Kick to the chest, dropping Vader. Elbow to the back of the neck. Oh, roll up. One, two. And Waluigi with the kick out. And Order 66 locked in. But Waluigi does not give up. And again, Shiranui. From behind, but Vader with the reversal. Poison Rana. I remember last week there was an avalanche poison Rana that was crazy. And the force being used against Waluigi. He can't control his hand. And here we go with the back and forth. These two have torn the house down thus far. And Waluigi super kick, but Vader discus forearm. Both fighters back up their feet at the same time, and Waluigi leaping suplex. And the as cocky as ever, Vader sent to the floor. He is woozy. Both fighters gonna take a breather. Here we go. And the double underhook suplex yet again. Vader off the rope. Knee drop. And order 66 locked in. I don't know how, but Waluigi did not give up. 
inverted atomic drop. Waluigi off the ropes. Jesus, trouble in paradise to the back of the skull. Cover one, two. Oh, 15 minutes have passed. Waluigi missing the drop kick, but hits the Shiranui. From behind, backstabber. Putting Darth Vader down. Darth Vader from behind now in the rip. Oh wait, sorry. The knee! Into the turnbuckle goes Waluigi. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Lighten up the chest of the former television champion, Huge Chop. Waluigi with the inverted atomic drop. No, Vader able to move out of the way of whatever Waluigi was thinking, and there is a super kick. Big chop again, and Vader using the force. And now lifting Waluigi up, leaping suplex. We are getting in critical territory. Discus Lariat, Jesus. but waits for Waluigi to get back to his feet. And again, Shiranui. From behind, nope, Vader with the reversal. Off the rope, and the choke slam. Kick to the back. But Waluigi, pump handle power bomb. One, two. Oh my God. We're gonna have another banger. It was Andre and Broly last week. This week, it's Vader and Waluigi. Snap suplex. Lifting him to his feet. Waluigi, another Shiranui. From behind, but Vader with the roll up. One, two, three, and Vader caught him off guard. And he is your victor, bringing Mr. Maverick up to 65 points. What a match, though, between these two. There you have it. 19 minutes, 5 seconds. Darth Vader catching Waluigi with the roll-up. And we are moving on to match 2 of the evening. In the blue corner will be another former world champ. Wait, another? Was there a world champ? No, there wasn't. That was last week. Last week, we had a former world champion. This week, exactly the same, Mr. 619 Ray Mysterio. And in the red corner, in his debut here in Battle for Supremacy, will be William Regal. Regal, a tough, tough guy. Technical, vicious. Ray's got to watch out for that knee trembler. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Match two. Rey Mysterio one-on-one -on -one with a debuting William Regal. Alfred, Fight. thank you, Alfred, and this one should be a banger between these two. Mysterio getting power bombed right off the bat. Maybe avoid the Huracanos for now. William Regal, all about submissions, suplexes, and just straight up 
brawling Mysterio the high flyer and Regal is indeed a wild card this is the very first match of all time that we are seeing William Regal compete in there's a drop toe hold knee to the spine and also Mysterio has got to watch out for uh, the vintage brass knuckles of William Regal as well I was expecting to see the brass knuckles uh, used by Waluigi in the last match. That did not happen. Step up Inseguri to the side of the head. Sizing each other up. Regal, oh, going for the German Mysterio, shifting his weight in time. Into the turnbuckle goes Mysterio. European uppercut, putting Ray down, but Ray with a kick to the face. <clears throat> Dragon Mysterio to the center of the ring Knees across the spine Lock up Mysterio with the forearm Arm drag And now locking in the single leg Boston Crab That's the second submission hold we've seen Mysterio use You normally don't see Ray doing too many submissions But maybe that's what he's got to do to put Regal away Who knows Oh Vicious combination, and here we go with the back and forth. And Mysterio winning that exchange. Leg drop, and right back to the single leg Boston Crab. Regal escaping fairly quickly, and now Regal with the Romero special. Into the turnbuckle. And Ray, good God. The kicks and now, oh my god, suck it! And Ray with the Bronco Buster! <laughs> I didn't know this game had that's the first time I've seen that move. Lifting Mysterio to his feet, and you know Regal's not happy after that one. I don't know if that was too smart by Mysterio, but we are five minutes in. Cover. Not even a one count. Ray with the DDT. Leg breaker, possibly uh, wearing down the legs for the submission. Kick to the gut by Regal. And the bow and arrow applied. I'm assuming the Regal stretch would be an STF, if I were to guess. Leg drop to the back of the neck. Cover. One. And Regal with a kick out at one. Step up in Seguri. And Ray going cover after cover. Not any more luck than he had last time. Snap suplex, putting Ray down. Regal off the rope, knee drop. Elbow to the face, and Regal is feeling it. Waving to the sold out crowd, and Regal to the top. No, missing the elbow. Regal off the ropes, Mysterio around the world, head scissors. Another leg drop across the chest. Oh, look at that, over and under. That was awesome, but Regal with the vicious knees to the face. Tripping him up with a chop block, and Ray diving leg across the chest. Thought he might have been looking for the frog splash, that was not the case. Regal thrown to the floor, Mysterio following following him out to the ringside area, into the apron. And oh, Regal catching the leg, dragon screw these fighters have to the count of 20 to get back inside the ring. Shot to the gut. And we are halfway to the 20 count, Mysterio back into the squared circle, Regal as well. Hurricanrana. Ray flipping Centon. But Regal with the... Was that the Regal Plex? Okay, no, that wasn't the Regal Plex. And again, Exploder Suplex. Just tossing Mysterio. I mean, it's not too hard to toss Mysterio around, but... Off the ropes. Oh, going for a cross body. Regal avoiding it. Hurricanrana. Ten minutes have passed. Cover. One. Two. And Regal with the kick out. Both fighters, no. Regal stopping the Irish whip. DD 
DDT by Mysterio. Lifting Regal to his feet, and Ray pop up her Karana. One, two, and a shoulder up. Both fighters off the ropes, and the knee trembler connects. Shot to the dick. Damn it. And Regal with the bow and arrow. He doesn't have bottoms on his sh boots, by the way. I can deal with that, but Kevin Mask, I couldn't deal with. Mysterio, sit out, face buster. Roll up. One, two. And Regal still in it. Snap suplex. Shot to the dick. Damn it. Oh, going for the drop kick to the knee. Oh. Ray just able to dodge him, but Exploder Suplex again. And Regal from behind, possibly looking for the Regal Plex. Oh my god, spinning heel kick. Sending Sir William Regal over the top rope to the floor and baseball bat in hand, but misses. Scoop Slam Mysterio to the top. Frog Splash. One, two, and Regal still ready to fight. Ready to fight on. Uh-oh. But maybe not after this. 619. Cover. One, two, three. I did not expect Mysterio to pick up the victory, but indeed he does bringing my overall score up to 68. And that means there will be no clean sweep for I, either me or Mr. Maverick in week 20. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 13 minutes, 47 seconds. Rey Mysterio puts away William Regal with a 619. And we are moving on to your main event of the evening in the blue corner will be Sanity's twisted sister Nikki Cross and in the red corner God's greatest creation Mandy Rose and last time Mandy Rose was in a match that sit out uh, butterfly face buster criticaled her opponent in short time but since criticals are now on normal Nikki does have a chance in the past I've, I don't think Nikki's been in too many matches but the matches she has been in she has done fairly well so it could go either way here we go ladies and gentlemen your main event of year two week 20 Nikki Cross, one-on-one -on -one with Mandy Rose. Alfred Hi. thank you Alfred and here we go your main event is underway we have not seen Nikki Cross in action uh, for I believe a little while if I'm not or was she critical I don't remember either way Mandy Rose um, though she doesn't look it has received title opportunity she is a fierce competitor but Nikki Cross, you never know what's going on in her mind. She just goes out there to hurt you, and there's a big boot straight to the face. These two aren't wasting any time getting into it. 
back body drop and the elbow. Into the turnbuckle goes Mandy, but kick to the ribs. Kick to the gut. And Rose has had control for a majority of this one thus far. Very, very early on, but you never know. Starting out the match with full control could change the match completely by the end. Oh, what an uppercut. Good God. Mandy's going to have a broken jaw. Stomp to the gut. Into the turnbuckle again. Elbow drop and cross to the mat. Haymaker. Oh, punch combination. Putting Mandy down. But here she comes with a vertical suplex. Elbow drop. Oh my. That is just vicious. Just the sound of that. And Mandy. Oh my god. Putting cross on the back of her neck. Locking in the chin lock. Nikki Cross escaping. Just a straight jab to the face. Jabbing back and forth. Oh! Takedown clothesline. Whee! And oh! Sleeper slam by Cross. Triple forearms to the face. Rose to the top. Ooh yeah! And another mini. Ooh yeah! Face first across the knee. Corey Graves would be so upset if you uh, mess up Mandy Rose's face and now Rose being dropped on the back of her neck. Lifting Cross up and putting her down with a suplex. Five minutes have passed and Mandy, no. Missing the elbow and Cross now to the top. Diving headbutt. And a falling headbutt. I don't think her, her mind can get any more messed up, so I think it's safe for Nikki to do this. And another typing headbutt. Stomp. Stomping on the legs of Mandy. You take away the legs, you pretty much take away her power. Headbutt to the spine yet again. Uh-oh! And Rose! Butterfly face buster! Cover! One! Two! Oh. Barely kicking out that one, but Cross with the purge neck breaker. Cover one, two. Oh my god, back and forth these two go. Oh my god, and Rose again. Butterfly face buster. Cross has got to be done. One, two, three. Oh, not yet. Into the turnbuckle. Hanging up Rose in the tree of woe, and oh, kick straight to the face. And the purge neck breaker. Cover. One, two. Oh my god, these two are so evenly matched. Going for the suplex cross, retaliating with a suplex of her own. Stomp to the ribs, elbow. This time hitting the vertical suplex. Lock up and Rose Bulldog putting cross face first into the mat. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! The headbutts. Nikki Cross just it doesn't care if it causes damage to herself. She's doing it. Into the turnbuckle. But Rose with the triple forearms up to the top. Ooh, yeah! Both of these strong, tough women fighters getting worn down. Off the ropes, clothesline and cross busted wide open from that clothesline to the face. Ten minutes have passed, flatliner. Elbow drop, lifting cross to her feet. And cross again, purge neck breaker. Cover, one, two. Oh my god, a bloody Nikki Cross almost with the victory, but Butterfly Face Buster. And it's got to be over. One, two, three. I stand corrected. 
face first into the knee. Cross just dealing as much damage as possible. Please don't critical. Oh my god, butterfly face buster. One, two, three. Your winner. God's greatest creation, Mandy Rose, bringing Mr. Maverick's score up to 66. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 11 minutes, 43 seconds, Mandy Rose puts away Nikki Cross, I didn't know this, with the Bed of Roses. That's a pretty good name. Pretty good name. All right, Bed of Roses. I got to remember that. But that was it for year two, week 20. The overall scores are now myself with 68 and Mr. Maverick with 66. Still neck and neck. He is two points behind. And keep in mind, next time I come to you with Battle for Supremacy will be the next upcoming pay-per-view which will be streamed live keep an eye out for that remember guys if you enjoy my content please leave a like comment and or subscribe also follow me on instagram and twitter at brandon brandy bear for both that would be greatly appreciated and as always thank you guys for watching i will see you next time and peace